guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and this is Grizzly Graveyard for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, another great scenario from Radrian. I will put a link in the description to the download page for this scenario. So this year then, for Halloween, we're going to do what is perhaps a world's first, maybe, the world's first horror movie quiz via the medium of Roller Coaster Tycoon. So what I'm going to do is pop a, another link in the description and hopefully a QR code on the screen now to an entry form. So if you want to watch on your TV and maybe load it up via your phone, you can do that or however you want to do it. And then what we're going to do is every ride and possibly stall and staff member that we, that we rename in this video, we're going to drop a reference to a horror movie. And then all you need to do is just put down what that horror movie is, enter, and then who knows, we'll have a bit of fun or something. Um, I'll make sure there's an, a form on there for your team name. And in the event of a tie, the, the person with the best team name is going to get a bonus point. So you have bought an overgrown graveyard on the cheap to transform into a theme park. Naturally, moral panic has ensued. The tabloids are refusing to advertise your park and the snooty locals are horrified by your plan. Is your park already six feet under? Your objective, to have at least 1,200 guests in your park at the end of October year three with a park rating of at least 600. So there's a few clues in there then that make me think that Radrian has put in some of the handicaps to make the scenario a little bit more difficult because 1200 isn't a large goal so what I'm thinking then has he put on the fact that we can't advertise so let's try this now there you go so it won't let me do that it's still showing so we know there's no advertising which is fine because we we don't use that as a rule um so I'm also wondering then has he also put on harder guest generation and perhaps harder rating as well? We'll know about the harder guest generation once we get up to about a thousand guests. We'll start to see a flat line. Um, but with the rating, we'll know about that pretty much straight away because what it'll do is it'll start bouncing around. Anyway, let's 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 deal with that if and when it happens. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's a, like a classic church that you'd that you'd see here, um, like a Norman style church. Um, so we've got it's not a huge amount of land, but it looks like all the parvins done for us. So that'll be easier. We we might tweak that slightly. Um, what would make it more difficult is if we can't terraform, can we? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. And what about trees? Right, okay, we can. We we can do that. That's fine. Um okay, so let's see what we've got then. We've got some transport rides. We've got a lot of gentle rides. Not a great selection of coasters to begin with. I mean we can put these down quite quickly. Um a couple of water rides and not a bad selection of shops. That's 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 all we need really so i think what we'll do is we'll put our research into thrill rides um because we can build them quite quickly we'll need to get some guests coming in and then we can drop down one of the two coasters that i highlighted the virginia reel and this um i am worried about that harder guest generation because radrian has has done that to us before so i think if i leave a space around the outside um, that way then, if I need to extend the coasters, I can do so. Because one thing about hard guest generation is once it's enabled, you're only going to get extra guests via um, advertising, which we can't do, uh, winning awards, which is a bit hit and miss, or extending your coasters so there are at least 600 meters with six plus excitement. So let's crack on, get your paper and pen ready or, or load up the entry form and let's begin. October year one, 584 guests in a park, and we've definitely got the harder rating enabled on this, as you can see from the bouncing around at the start. At the moment, I've got so many handymen and things down in the park that it's stabilized, although it is quite far off where I would expect it to be at the moment. It's on 794. We would expect it to be up around the high 800s or 900s around about now. 
So let's have a look to see what we've done then. Okay, so what I've done is I've added a path through the center of the church um, and added some food stalls in there. So I did have to tinker with the scenery slightly, raise the roof, um, if you pardon the pun. Um, so let's have a look inside then. Nothing much to report apart from Damien's dogs there. Hot dog stall called Damien's dogs in the church. Um, and then let's have a look at the rides then. So we've got, got a go-kart with red cars. It's called King's Car. Yeah, let's have a look at the stats on King's Car. Decent stats on that. So we are charging £10 a go on that. We've left it on the three laps in order to justify the higher price because we are struggling with cash. We've got quite a big loan. But um, at the moment, we're starting to get some decent money in every month. And those shop sales as well benefiting from the umbrellas. We've got loads of umbrellas, uh, umbrella stores, the kiosks and toilets. You know what I like to do on, on corners and junctions and things like that all the way around the place. And then we've got this. Have a look. Let's go back to the start. Show you the flat rides to begin with, I think. So we've got a nice easy one. The Haunted House, Bates Motel, just there. And then around the outside, we've got a maze called the Overlook Maze. What could it be from? And then we've got a crooked house just down here called Dream Street. And then we've got a cinema, 3D cinema over here showing a movie called Stab. What could that be from? And then we've got a Virginia reel around here and it's called Head Spinner. Decent stats on that. We've got it on the edge so that if we need to extend it, we can. I don't really want to extend <laughs> this one because it's not the sort of coaster that lends itself to overly long designs. Um, and we've seen that. And then over here, then we've got a mine, a uh, wooden wild mine ride, and it's called Valentine Bluff. Just there. Yeah, let's have a look at the stats on that. 5.86, decent stats. We're charging £10 on that and £10 on the Virginia Reel. And then just down here, we've got a little little lake. Camp Crystal Lake robots. Pretty cool. Um, ooh, and a pirate ship there. And the boat, oh, it's broken down. The boat is black and white. And the boat is called the Orca. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So some of these are easy. Some of them are going to be a little tricky, okay? But the the idea is that um, hopefully, even if you've never watched a horror movie, some of these should be should be quite obvious. Um, but we don't want to make all of them too obvious. So yeah, um, I think we've had a good start so far. We're halfway towards the goal. I'm going to research roller coasters now. Um, let's see, hopefully we can have something, something good coming out quite early on. If not, I think we are probably going to have to, to extend these two, which I don't really want to do. As I said, they don't lend themselves well to making longer designs. October year two, 891 guests in the park. And we've got an entertainer in a gorilla suit called Big Boy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So this year then we've been researching roller coasters. And do you know what? For the longest time, we didn't really have anything good coming out until the end. We had the, the looping coaster and the corkscrew coaster coming out. And it's a shame we didn't have those right at the start because we could have done something really cool with them. I mean, we still can. But because nothing good was coming out, um, I decided to extend the Virginia Reel and the, the wooden wild mine train. So um, I've extended it all the way down here. Um, so it's over... 600 meters so 600 meters is a little a little under 2000 feet so i always aim for 2000 feet it's just you know you you know you're right then so this is fine um and then we've got the mine train coaster there so again more than long enough that one's fine as well i've added a little bit of scenery as well to make it just look a little bit less ugly because, um, yeah, as I said, they don't really <laughs> lend themselves well to overly long coasters. So I've had to add some um, extra chain lifts and things like that as well in order to get it to come back. Um, OK, so we've got an Enterprise just down here. It's, uh, it's named after a comic called 
and the comic was called Vampires Everywhere. Um, so, making some good cash off that. Five pound a go. Um, coming around here then, we've seen all these. We've seen all these. Adding some little fences and stuff around when needed. I've got loads more to add. But, um, yeah, just around here then, we've got a drop tower. It's set to set to down mode what's that called it's set to drop mode that's what it's called and it's called spelunking which is another name for caving yeah um so that's pretty cool um so this year then has mainly been spent on extending these coasters because the idea is that hopefully once we get up to where the guest numbers start to stall which should be around now-ish the harder guest generation the it won't be applied because we've got these longer coasters. That's the theory anyway. We have got more rides to build, but I'm just thinking it should be fine now. It should be fine. October 3, 1,390 guests in the park. We needed 1,200, so we are going to beat the goal. Right, let's have a look at the graph then. Between July and August, you can see that flat line. So we had the harder guest generation kicking in there. So even though we had the two longer coasters, it still kicked in. It wasn't quite enough. We were at about 1,180 guests at that point. So we needed to extend one more coaster. Thankfully, I did have a couple of extra coasters that we could extend. But let's have a look at the new additions to the park then. I've done fences and things like that around, so it looks pretty. We've got the Harbinger. Now, if I had more time, if I had more time, I would try and make this look like a gas station. But, you know, a top spin will have to do. And just as a little bonus fact, out of all the movies I'm referencing, this is my favorite out of all of the ones we're referencing. Um, and then just over here then, we've got a corkscrew coaster launching out into a bat wing. And this one's called Murnau's Monster. I hope I've got the pronunciation correct on that. So it launches out into the bat wing. And yeah, there's a little bit underground like that. Decent stats. We've uh, reduced the coasters down now. We, have, we were charging 10 for some of them. We've reduced them down to three because um, I was trying a few different things to in order to boost the guest numbers But because um, I was hoping to just scrape by, but I, <laughs> it wasn't happening at all. So I had to then extend one of the coasters the other one. So we've got this sort of futuristic-looking coaster over here. It's called Xenomorph. Wow, it's a bit... It's a bit sci-fi but still definitely horror um so yeah launches out into the loop go this is a, a, a bonus bit that i added in order to get the length and then comes around the back of stab and then another loop and then back to the station via a little helix so yeah that's pretty cool um have we got have we mentioned everything now I think so. Let's have a quick, what have we got? We've got a week left. So um, we've got Big Boy, the gorilla. I'm just making sure I haven't missed any. Let's have a look at the, the rides. Have we, have we mentioned all of them? I believe I have mentioned all of them. So we've got Vampires Everywhere. That was a comic. Bates Motel. Classic. Classic hotel there with the, the overlook maze around the outside. We've got the head spinner coaster there. We've got the 3D cinema showing stab. We've got the futuristic Xenomorph launch coaster there. And we've got Murnau's monster with the Batwing just down there. We've got Valentine's Bluff mining coaster. And we've got Camp Crystal Lake just down here. We've got the Harbinger just there and we've got king's car there now got this down to three pound and one lap as well because we've got so many guests in the park um what else have we got what else have we got in the church we had damien's dogs there and then we've got the spelunking drop tower and we've got the orca pirate ship there black and white boat just down there that's just because that's what color and orca is um yeah so i think i think we've got everything 
Yeah, so hopefully, oh, hang on a second. We've got Dream Street just down by there. Um, hopefully that's everything. I haven't left anything out. Um, yeah, so this has been an absolute joy to make. I've really enjoyed this scenario. Stew! And hopefully you've enjoyed watching. And I really hope you you um, have a go at the quiz as well. It's just for fun. There's no prizes. You can win bragging rights if you want a 75 stew points you know i don't know what that what what the value of that is but you know you can have that so yeah the, the i'll do the qr code on the screen again the link will be below to to the entry form and also to download the scenario from radrian um like once again radrian is probably demonstrating why he's my favorite scenario creator um yeah, so this has been possibly the world's first horror movie quiz via the medium of Rollercoaster Tycoon. I hope everyone enters. I've been Stu. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>